Hello, welcome to Coding Privacy, guys. This is another video of Peak Inter series, and in this video, we're going to look at radio buttons. The last video was about check buttons. Both the widgets are quite similar, but there is a main difference that in the check button, you want to select multiple options, but in the radio button, you basically want to only select one option per question. And so that makes a whole lot of difference. Uh, that just changes the backend a whole lot of a whole lot much. So let's get started and we'll see how it goes the first thing that i'm going to do is create a radio button and by this time you guys would have already have figured out everything is in tk class object so you can be directly fetch radio button from here say i want to put it in the root which is my main window and then i want to say coding privacy would be the name of this button uh, I'm gonna pack it. Also, going to create another one to demonstrate better. Uh, text would be privacy coding this time. Privacy coding and radio two dot pack. Okay. So why don't we run this program and see how this looks? So as you can already see, we have two radio buttons. Pretty easy way to create it but you can see both the options are selected which is never we want to never we want in the radio button right? so let's see about that so what we are going to do is we would create a dynamic variable something that we use in uh, used in check button as well so we'll create a dynamic variable see, the name would be where and then string where i'm i'm going to create a string variable for now but if you want the integer one we'll change that later on so variable is equal to where and then variable is equal to where okay cool so i have a dynamic variable attached to both the radio buttons now what do i do i have a value uh option over here which means that what do i want this where button to get set when i click on this radio button so if i click if i select Put one over here which means that whenever i select this radio button this where would be set to one at least that's what we assume to happen so let's put this as two and so there's one main difference between check button and radio button as i already discussed this thing makes that difference so in the check button one we had on value and off value which means that every check button can be manipulated to turn on and off but in the radio button we don't want that for every question let's say there are four radios we only want one variable to manage all four of them so that uh because you only want one answer from all four of them right so if uh, this one gets selected this where would be set as one if this one gets selected this where would be set as two now remember you don't want to put the same value in both the ones if you do that then if you select this one then this one would also get selected you you would see it on the screen and the and in the back end when you will get this where variable it would be confusing you don't want that mess to happen so uh, you must have these two values or basically all the radios should have a different value that would work best now what we're going to do is we're going to show what that variable would hold right after we select it so we'll create a label for it say we want it in the parent window and i'm going to create a text variable so it can be dynamic right so let's create a result variable for that it will be a string variable of course and then i'm gonna label dot packet and i'm also going to create a button because i don't want it to be like hey i selected a radio button and now i suddenly see an answer no uh, we would create a submit button for it and uh, so when you click on submit button that's when we want things to happen and you already know creating a function and tying it with the button is already something that we have seen in the past videos so i'm going to say radio logic function should be attached uh, radio logic da, da, da. okay cool and now what we'll do is we will just say result dot set so this will basically set the result variable as whatever we get from the where variable Make sense? So where, where where variable would be changed based on whatever radio that we select, and that thing will be set in the label one. Cool. Okay. Now 
the thing that we haven't done is packing the button you wouldn't be able to see anything without that let's run it so okay you can see both the radios are selected still the reason is if you don't put any default value to this one it just picks whatever value is in there in the value it just sets that as the default value which is why everything gets selected so what we would do is we would set this to something else we would say null okay let's say null so now you can see because null is not the value for any to any one of them so none of them got selected if i click on submit i see null because that's the default value if i click on this one i see two if i click on this one i see one which is what we expected right now what if i want to see the actual value of it i don't want to see the numbers i don't understand numbers that much so let's put the value over and if i do that i get null basically on selecting nothing if i select this i see privacy coding i see coding privacy so that is exactly what we want from a radio button right so that is basically it guys this is how the radio button works okay if you don't want that yellow uh, that that circle that you see in the radio but if you want to remove that there's a simple indicator on parameter so that's one by default if you put it to zero you do zero over here as well and run your code and you'll see it turns up as a button so this is how if if you would like to just uh, make it a button the radio think or should happen in the back end but on the front side front end you just want to make it look like a button you can do that it's, the button is not fancy at the moment because there are a lot of parameters that you can add to make it look fancy but that is not a part of this video so we're going to skip that there's one thing that i forgot to do what we're going to do is just add a text over here and say what is the name of this channel so now if i run it you see this is the question these are both the options and if i select this i get the options but now i don't want to just see the whatever i select right i want to show that hey did you put the right answer or not so whatever we get from the selection we're going to compare that with coding privacy and if we are getting it then what we'll do is we'll just say hey this answer is correct otherwise we'll say this one now this one is not correct right let me run that so if i click on this one it says not correct if i click on this one it says correct i can't undo it because it's a radio button right so this is basically how the radio button works i have showed you multiple things in the same in the single video how we can connect a button with a function how you can tie a variable with a label but okay we we know now how the radio button works in the next video what, what i'm going to show you is this is so this one is one question and two options but what if you want to have like five questions or 50 questions and each one having multiple radios right and then finally when you hit on a submit button you want to say if you had all the answers correctly put or not so that is what we are going to do in the next video it's going to be an interesting one because what will just make it easier for you to add questions in the program right we just don't want to hard code everything each time you want to you would add a question so see you in the next video guys and thank you for watching this one bye